So what's your name? My name is Austin Bostock. I'm a senior studying engineering mechanics here at UI. I'm also a captain and forward on the uh, men's division one hockey club. How long have you been playing hockey? This is my 16th season playing hockey. I played uh, four years for Barrington High School and before that I played uh, all over the country at different places. Now, uh, who were some of your role models growing up in hockey? Uh, well, the guy that got me into hockey is Mike Madano. He was uh, the captain and uh, forward on the Dallas Stars. That's actually where I started skating. Was in Dallas, Texas. Um, he was just—he's uh, got this this jersey flow um, that's kind of his signature. He was just—he would skate so fast that his jersey would literally flap behind him like he was flying. It was awesome. And uh, growing up in Dallas, he was probably the role model of every little hockey player. Um, so I can't say I'm the only one that. Uh, idolized him, but I definitely, uh, he's still my idol. He's, he played for a long time and he's an American born hockey player. He's probably the greatest American born hockey player ever. So uh, watch. Uh, it's been a part of my life since I can remember. I don't remember not playing hockey. I absolutely love it. I, it's been the, one of the defining moments of my college career. Um, he showed up. So growing up in, uh, growing up in near Dallas, what, uh, what made you choose Illinois? Well, I, I, I was only in Dallas for a, for a little bit. I was all over the place, but um, for my you know my family moved all over when I was a little kid. But um, really, the, coming to University of Illinois was an easy decision for me. I got into the University of Illinois engineering program, no problem. And the the tough decision was, do I go to Illinois and do engineering and, and play a, you know a, a, still a high level of hockey, but not NCAA hockey. Or do I go play juniors? And I had multiple opportunities to go play juniors in Western Canada um, and a couple in the Chicagoland area. But, um, you know, with my family helping out with uh, college and, and being in a top three engineering program, along with amazing hockey still, you know, a top ten hockey program, uh, it was, you know, in my mind, there was no, I have no regrets coming here to play. It was an easy, easy decision looking back. Um, so you got uh you got injured last year. Tell me a little about that. What happened? Yeah, actually, um, I got injured. My I've been injured a couple times in my career. Um, but um, I've been to the hospital two consecutive years after playing these games. So, um, they're, they're always rough games, but they're easy games to get excited to play in. Um, five games into my career, actually, freshman year, I uh I broke I got hit and uh, fell on my hand, and actually broke my thumb. Ended up having to have two pins put in my hand, um, which are still there. So that was at the end of my freshman season. Um, end of my sophomore season, I got hit pretty bad in the boards and uh, dislocated my shoulder. Uh, it, was a, it was a pretty bad separation. Um, when I, I popped it back in myself on the bench, and uh, when I did that, um, I actually ended up tearing uh, all the way through my rotator cuff, uh, which unfortunately took a year and a half to realize and I had a, a rotator cuff, a full rotator cuff repair um, uh, this past off season. So through all the injuries, through everything, it's, it's all been worth it to you? Yes, absolutely. I know probably by 40 I'm going to be arthritis ridden and um, hurting every day, but uh, I've, you know, hockey's part of my life, it always will be. I'm going to play, play hockey until I can't stand anymore. Um, and playing here at UVI has been a really good privilege and um, yeah the injuries injuries will pass you know you heal from all that but uh, there's nothing like playing one of these home games. I'd say for anybody who hasn't been to a live hockey game definitely come out um, it's it's going to a live hockey game is is like no other experience the the hitting the yelling at the other team the you know raffle chuck puck whatever we have to offer um, that's it's if you if you've never been to a game it's definitely something you should try because you'll never want to stop coming.